For today's video, I decided to give myself a lockdown makeover. I would execute this plan in three simple steps. Number one, I would sort out my hair and do something fun with it. Number two, I would jazz up my bedroom. And number three, I would get myself some cool new clothes. I thought all of this would run smoothly, but it went a little bit like this. Am I about to ruin my life? Oh God, maybe. <gasps> Neon lights. She hadn't put the blonde bit in. So it is from Balenciaga. Final reveal three two one so welcome to the chaos that is this video i hope you enjoy it hello everyone and welcome back to 2020 the year that we all thought was going to be incredible and just sucks for everyone. I remember us all saying on New Year's Eve 2019 that 2020 was going to be the start of the roaring 20s, but so far it's only really been the boring 20s. I am bored in the house and I'm in the house bored and I feel like I've come to the conclusion that I should fuck my appearance up because I'm bored of it, you know, I'm bored of looking like this. For literally my whole life up until this moment I've had brunette hair. It's dark, it's long, and it's just gross at the moment. And so at 3am on Saturday night, I was on the internet and I decided I would bleach my hair. So I bought this. I'm really going into this blind. As in like, I've got my contact lenses in, but aside from that, I, I have no idea what's going on. But I just thought it would be funny. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, welcome to this video. Welcome to my lockdown identity crisis, apparently. Let's start by destroying my hair, shall we? On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's gonna make you sick. So hello and welcome to Jack's Salon. That sounds really professional, except this camera is currently balanced on two easter eggs which are balancing on top of each other so this is just destined to go wrong in every way i imagine the instructions said to put everything into this bowl so that's what i'm gonna do and then i guess i could just like dunk my head in it is that a terrible idea i'm gonna read the instructions actually no no i should definitely not do that i'm intrigued by what this is in this little bag Oh, they're little gloves. I don't know whether to use these now or save them for next time I go to Tesco. I mean, if they're included in the set, then I, I think I should probably wear them. So far, this video is just me ignoring the instructions and just guessing, but that needs to change ASAP Rocky. Okay, well, here goes. Am I about to ruin my life? Oh God, maybe. The thing is, right, my barber follows me on Instagram and I already know that when he sees this, he is gonna have a heart attack, so, Sorry to that man. It may be kind of obvious that I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm quite enjoying it so far. It's quite therapeutic. If um, Bleach London are interested, you can use this video as a guide how not to use your products. That may be the only useful thing to come out of this. So I've enlisted the help of my brother because I was struggling. Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> I have to say, I am starting to have regrets. <laughs> I feel like this is the stage where you should be excited about what's gonna happen, but I actually just feel scared. <laughs> just set my canvas up. <laughs> oh my God, is my hairline getting further and further back while we do this? Cause I'm a bit concerned. Oh my God, you can see the color actually leaving my head and my brain cells as well. With every stroke, my self-esteem gets lower. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of where we're at. I'm sure this isn't meant to be the case, but like it really hurts, like it really burns, but it's just 45 minutes of pain and then a lifetime of embarrassment, so. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when at the beginning of this video, I was saying like, let's destroy my hair. I kind of meant it in like a funny way where it would end up being looking quite good. This is not funny. This isn't funny at all. I would say that the predominant color right now is orange. Oh, fuck. I called it, my barber literally reacted with a crying emoji when he saw my hair. So the thing is, it is almost 8 p.m. on a Thursday night, which means we need to go outside and clap for the NHS. However, this is on my head. So, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna cover that. I literally feel like we're going incognito. So this is part two. Oh my god, it absolutely stinks. That is the smell of regret. I bet you're wondering how I got here. The answer is that I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> how has my life got here? Oh, I can kind of see it in the mirror. It still looks dreadful. Okay, so after the second round of treatments, 
It looks exactly the same. What? Do you see this? Why is it that color? So this is the person on the box and this is me. I have to laugh otherwise I will cry. This wasn't the plan like at all. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. Okay, so it is day two of trying to have a lockdown glow up. So far it has been a glow down. Today we're going to redeem this and hopefully I will end the day as a silver fox so i enlisted the help of my mom and she was doing a much better job than yesterday like everything was looking good until she finished we put the cling film on all of that jazz and then realized she hadn't put the blonde bit in so who knows what's going to happen here like we've got a mixture on my head but the bit that was quite necessary and crucial is is still here so this just wasn't meant to be. So I currently have the silver hair dye in. I'm not religious, but I might actually pray. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> I don't know if it could get much worse, so hopefully this restores something. Will that be my dignity? Probably not. I'll keep you in the loop. So I kind of forgot to keep you in the loop, but the basic summary is that nothing happened. It didn't change at all because we forgot to put the lightening bit into the mix so it just basically dulled it down a little bit but it was still very much ginger okay so um the first part of my little lockdown makeover went terribly but the second part has just arrived it's to do with my bedroom because i was kind of bored of this room and obviously i do a lot of social media content i just felt like it was a bit dull so i'm thinking this part can't possibly go that wrong or at least not as wrong as this went i am so excited so these are neon lights so there's a green one and then like a red one. Oh wait oh god i'm actually fuming that it's the daytime so that i can't use these to their full capacity. They came with these little um, legs, but the thing is, if I turn that upside down, they just fall off. I think they would look quite cool if they were freestanding rather than like leaning. Oh, they came with screws. I reckon I could just use this. Tell me I'm not a genius. That is very much adequate. Yes. Temporarily, that looks great. This one is kind of Darth Vader vibes. Also, yes, they kind of are the TikTok colors. Don't at me because I don't want to hear it. Okay, let's see how this... No! Oh my god. This is a success. Whoa! I'm kind of like... I can't quite believe that this has gone well. Yo, I love it. Imagine me hosting my Sunday night pub quiz sitting here. Finally, something in this video has gone well. Hello. Hey. Um, it's me. Again, basically a couple of days have passed because my scalp needed some time to recover. So I have been a Weasley twin for a while, but we're back and we're ready to do it all over again. So today we are, ah. So today we're going in with this one here, followed by a silver. So I'm hoping that this will lighten my hair and then the silver will dye it to the color that I actually wanted it this whole time. It's all the fun of the circus, right? So we're mixing this solution and we realize there are a lot of steps that we didn't follow the first time. So I'm thinking this could be a lot more productive. We've kind of done a Ron Weasley to Draco Malfoy transition and I'm kind of here for it, you know? Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Because... I don't think you are. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> this is what we're currently working with. It's bright. Even when I'm looking at it in the viewfinder of my camera, it doesn't actually look real because it's so neon. I actually don't know if we've done more harm than good, but I feel like it had to get worse before it would get better. So this I'm thinking is like the blank canvas. And then tonight we're putting the gray slash silver dye onto it. I have been using purple toner throughout. I feel like I haven't documented that bit, but I have been using purple toner. Here we go! Wow, so stylish, so trendy. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do my eyebrow? Okay, are you guys ready for the final reveal? Okay, we'll go in the sun so you can see it really clearly, but three, two, one, ta-da! In the sun, it looks super cool. In the dark, <laughs> I mean like inside, it looks kind of the same as it did at the start. This is more how I wanted it to look, but it is no longer that brassy, orangey mess. So I'm considering this a success. In the sun, it kind of looks quite cool. 
Hmm. I genuinely can't believe I went through all of that just for my hair to end up looking exactly the same. The thing that is so annoying is that I've bleached all of the colour out of my hair, so this isn't even like my original hair colour is like seeping through. I actually dyed it a colour that is so similar to my natural hair that you can't even tell I've done anything to it. So that was dumb, but you know what? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Stop looking at it. One thing that I have discovered is that I definitely like the colour that it looks when it's in the sun. So once my scalp has recovered from six lots of bleach and toner being on it, I will do it again and this time it will probably be a lot smoother. But moving swiftly on, this morning some packages arrived which are the final part of my lockdown makeover slash identity crisis. I couldn't bring very many clothes home from university with me so I did a little bit of a shop because you know me I have a passion for fashion and it's all arrived and I'm very 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 excited so I'm gonna show you. The first bits are from Farfetch. I got this off-white t-shirt, it's quite plain on the front with just like the little yellow off but then on the back it's a party. It has the whole off-white Virgil Abloh kind of print on it and I think it's very nice. Can you tell I literally know nothing about fashion? I really really love off-white so I thought I would, thought I would treat myself you know. This one is definitely business in the front party in the back. It's pretty standard. Also, I love that I still have my timetable from 2014 in my wardrobe. I also got this. It is from Balenciaga and I'm very excited about it. Oh wow, this is so fancy. Maybe bordering on ridiculous. <gasps> Cool. It is a Balenciaga phone case. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. This is kind of unnecessary, but the way that I see it is that a phone case is something that you use every single day and all the time, you know? And I always buy really cheap, rubbishy phone cases. The one that I have on my phone at the moment is this gross, transparent one that's gone really brown and grim. And this phone is relatively new, so I thought this is an investment piece. Okay, there, I've justified it to myself and I'm not sorry about it. I also got this super cool like oversized um, Ada era t-shirt. It's got this cool kind of spaceship design because I am actually Brian Cox, don't know if you, <laughs> if you noticed that. This actually did arrive the other day and I filmed a video where I cooked a Greg's steak bake in it. And you can kind of see some of the remnants of the steak bake on the t-shirt. So um, that's a nice little souvenir. Really pleased about that. This is the Ada era t-shirt. I think it's a really nice oversized fit. Um, I'm sitting down, which is so unhelpful because you can't see it. It's like the right amount of oversized. This is a brand that I have been admiring from afar for a very long time, but I really like their stuff. And I'm the proud owner of this t-shirt now, which has some custom Greg stains on it. So it is actually now one of a kind, limited edition, very, very valuable. And then, by the way, I'm not done. This arrived. This is from Payday Vintage. So basically, it's all secondhand vintage stuff. During lockdown, I've been binging the YouTube channel Payday Pickups. It's this super cool guy called Dom who um, was studying out in Philadelphia and uploaded loads of videos of him like thrifting in Philadelphia and New York City. And I, I just want to be him when I grow up. He may actually be younger than me, but... That's beside the point. So the vintage store that he owns did a big drop of new things and I did a big shop of new things. The first thing is this lovely jumper from Lotto. I really like the colours, I really like the sleeves. I kind of bought a lot of jumpers and cosy things because we're stuck in the house. Comfort at the moment is key. This feels like a proper retro sports jumper and I'm here for it. Oh my god, I love it. This is a bit of me. I really like the colours, the little pops of red are so cool. It's slouchy, it's comfortable, it's cool. Big fan. It's a yes from me. The next thing was kind of a risk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. It's this old school Wrangler t-shirt. It's a really thick material. We will see whether this fits me. It was a bit of a risk when I got it, but it has potential. Okay, listen, I definitely shouldn't have bought something that was advertised as XXL when I am not an XXL person. I, I get that. This is my fault. I've tucked the Wrangler t-shirt in because otherwise it comes to like here. And I kind of, kind of think it works. The sleeves obviously are long, long, and maybe it's not the way that everyone would style it, but I kind of, I kind of like it. I don't know, the good thing is that I make YouTube videos where you can usually only see me from like here down. And for that, this ticks the boxes, so that's fine by me. The next jumper is something special. I really like this kind of off-white color. It's a Reebok jumper, but it's got a high neck, which I think will be very nice. I genuinely think I would have had a little sob if this hadn't fit me, but it does, so we're all good. No, no tears left to cry. I really, really love this. I really agree with this neckline. I'm into this, I'm a fan. I wanna die in this. It, like, someone will actually have to cut me out of this before I let go of it. We also have 
an umbro jumper. Are you sensing a theme? Because there is one. The theme is definitely, I want to be comfortable. Thank you, ma'am. Again, I'm into it. This one's slightly less like oversized. It's more fitted, but I like it. This is classic, easy to wear, big win. And the final thing is this fleece, which looks like a sheep who has done the same hair dye job as me. This is so thick. This is going to be perfect for the dog walk. Very, very pleased about this. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And yes, this is everything I needed and more in a dog walking fleece. It's very comfortable. It's it's very warm, let me tell you. And yeah, I am pleased. So yes, thank you for watching. So that concludes my partially successful lockdown transformation. Also, yes, I have my blinds closed, even though it's the middle of the day, because I just wanted to use these funky lights. This has been a guide on how to get the lockdown look. It's been an emotional heptathlon, but we got through it. Do I look any different from the start of this video? Not really, I just look more tired <laughs> and stressed. If you watched all the way to this point, thank you so, so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to keep up with my daily lockdown antics, then head to my Instagram account where I'm posting all the time. Give this video a like if you liked it. If you like, I went through hell and back to get to this point, so, <laughs> and I literally have nothing to show for it. Although I do have a cool jumper now, so who's really winning? And and also, please, 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 please subscribe if you're new uh, because we are dangerously close to 200,000. Yeah, if you would like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I hope you're all looking after yourselves. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night.